Lamu is a one of a kind uh, county. Uh, many don't know that Lamu is an archipelago uh, county. The only county in Kenya that's an actually fully an uh, archipelago where we have over 40 islands uh, and that makes it unique. We have a unique budget line of boats, and that's what makes Lamu attractive. Uh, it's the Venice of Africa. And uh, other than that, we have historically been known as a, um, as a port. Over 400 years ago, there was a lot of mix of cultures that lived and traded in Lamu. And as a result of that, we have a very unique culture in Lamu, and uh, we're a community that lives in coexistence. Uh, we welcome the Chinese, we welcome the Portuguese, we welcome the Omani, and uh, we've mixed uh, cultures in such a way that um, it, it makes our language and our cuisines unique. And uh, that is one of the reasons where we actually got uh, um, nominated and then confirmed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Uh, we are living uh, in our history and uh, continue to maintain our history. Lamu is one of the best preserved Swahili settlements in the entire coastal region. Why? Because uh, if you walk around the, the town of Lamu, you will find that uh, the same architectural, uh, architectural style of construction of houses using coral stones and lime are still there, still intact with, the, with the narrow streets, with all sorts of I mean, uh, cultural activities uh, being taken care of in, in Lamu. The Swahili attire, you walk along the streets, you will see men wearing kanzus and kufiyas, embroidered caps. The hospitality you are receiving in Lamu cannot be compared with somewhere anywhere else. Culture in Lamu is very important because it's one of the biggest attractions for tourism. Many of the tourists that come to Lamu uh, come for that and it contributes to all, over 75% of our in, uh, income directly and indirectly. Traders in Lamu so far have also been closely interlinked uh, with the tourism uh, docket. A majority of the major stakeholders are hotel owners and boat owners. Uh, you can't really separate tourism from trade in Lamu. The hotels and the businesses benefit directly from this and as a result of that have been putting more investment into making sure that the culture is maintained and the heritage is maintained and the income from the uh, tourism sector uh, actually multiplies during such cultural festivals because that is what the attraction is. I've been in the hotel industry since the last three years. Um, I have been nominated uh, secretary of the Lamu Tourism Association about two months ago. The association is main object is to brought a common voice on any issue that is related to tourism. So it concerns hotels, private houses, um, airline company, bank, um, various associations such as the Dow Captain, but also um, um, we've got uh, fishermen involved and uh, tourist guides and so it's, uh, it's very very wide and um, we have been working very closely with the, the government and uh, the county um, on several issues that goes from the waste management to security issues or promotion 
and uh, we have at the moment uh, 124 members. We have so far seven festivals in a year. That's the Maulid Festival, the Lamu Cultural Festival, the Yoga Festival, the Painters Festival, uh, and uh, the Lamu Food Festival, and there's the Shela Hat Contest. One of the reasons that we are focusing on these festivals is so that every festival is unique and one of a kind, and we continue to promote Lamu as the island of festivals. So the Lamu Cultural Festival, the focus is culture, uh, the dances and the traditional uh, practices of Dao races and donkey races that Lamu has had. And the Maulit Festival is a religious uh, historical day where there are a lot of uh, um, pilgrims that come to Lamu. The Yoga Festival is for yoga enthusiasts who want to come and have a relaxing moment on the beach, do yoga on the beach, do yoga at sunrise and we target mostly those, uh, those type of uh, foreign or expatriate or local Kenyans who want to do yoga. And uh, the Painters Festival is targeting international painters. Uh, but as a county next year, we want to support it. It will be one of those extra festivals that we support in order to include local artists as well. The Shella Hat Contest is a hat competition where people use, the locals can use the recycled materials or anything innovative to make the most outrageous hats. <laughs> The food festival is all about food, about eating food, growing food, harvesting food, producing, manufacturing food. So the series from the cooking competition, from an agricultural display, to a fishing contest, to an investors forum to do with food. Lamu has got no car, there's no jam. You travel everywhere with a boat. Um, it's quiet, it's peaceful. The beach is a, you know, it's a 14 kilometer beach. Um, you can go snorkeling, you can go sailing, you can do water sports as well, you know, um, like windsurf um, and uh, kite surf. The organization in Lamtua Guide organization we registered is about 25 30 years ago. If anybody they want to go with the guide, they take a guide from Lamtua Guide or Dow. If they want to see Lamu Town, and then we take them around in the town. And these tours, they take about two hours, one hour and a half. We take them to show the old stone town from 1813. Lamu Forts, a marketplace. <laughs> We take people to show the Riyadh Mosque, it's very famous. Mention, each gets guests and my brother and Arbeit in Berlin for Fum Fiare. On another brother and Arbeit in Schweiz in Basel. We actually have wildlife, uh, we have more biodiversity than, uh, than Savo West. Uh, in terms of this is for a fact. Uh, we have lions, we have zebras, we have giraffes, we have buffalo, in addition to marine, uh, where we have endangered dugong and turtles. You can't get that anywhere else in Kenya, where you have uh, two, a na marine park, a national reserve, we get wildlife, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and fantastic beaches and fantastic sunshine, all in one place. <laughs> We have this main museum, which is Lamu Cultural Museum. We have a, a typical Swahili house, which was transformed into a museum in 1987. 
Then we have uh, Lamu Fort Museum. Initially, it was uh, uh, opened as an environment museum, but currently it houses uh, administration offices. And then we have the German Post Office Museum, which is the first post office to be opened uh, in Lamu. Then we have sites and monuments within Lamu uh, Archipelago. The biggest challenge we have in Lamo is uh, the transport. Uh, we have very uh, challenging road travel because there's no tarmac roads, but that's one of the priority projects in preparation for Lapset that the national government is working on and the county is actually fully supporting. <laughs> Uh, we also have very expensive flights uh, that have hindered local tourism travel to Lamu. Uh, we'll have an international airport in Lamu, bring the rates a lot cheaper and allow tourists to come directly to Lamu. And the second challenge other than transport is on security. Uh, unfortunately, uh, our county is near the Somali border. And as a result of that, there's a lot of assumptions that Lamu Island is also near the Somali border. The travel advisory, they have affected us a lot. Um, especially since June and um, we have all tried to lobby a lot to make sure they could change but it's not so easy especially with the situation. I wish to reassure people that uh, Lamu Island actually in the history of uh, all that's happened Lamu Island has never been attacked and we hope um, uh, that we're able to clear those misconceptions by having successful festivals. There are a lot of uh, activities which have disappeared. For instance, I would say the kind of uh, construction, the architectural style of construction of houses is becoming expensive and it is disappearing. A lot of uh, artisans who are doing this, this kind of work, uh, they are not normal now. And the young people, the young generation are not very much interested. What we're trying to do is rebrand and remarket towards the local tourists. This food festival is one of those steps. Uh, it targets to the ordinary Monanchi to come to Lamu for the Easter weekend and enjoy Nyamachoma, uh, Mishkaki and the rest. But other than that, we're also looking how we can go to the East. And uh, we actually have drafted and are uh, uh, soon going to complete a strategy on how to promote uh, what, or what is called uh, Halal tourism. Halal tourism is a family-friendly market of tourism where you can guarantee travel uh, of choice. It is imperative that we get investors. We need to create jobs for the young people in Lamu. You have seen from statistics that we have given, there are about 37,000 young people in this county. And we need to get them engaged in some economic activity. And I believe the port project is one of them and apart from that there are a lot of other investors who are keen to come and invest in Lamu but uh, we have to make sure that uh, these are investors who will abide by what the Lamu people hold dear. We need to conserve our environment, we need to conserve our culture and heritage and those are not negotiable.